couple things we wanted to focus on, and yeah. I, I think I think this is we'll cross promote a little bit here. I believe you had Doug Kide on your podcast uh, for ninety eight five. Is that correct? Yeah. Yep, just put that up, 985thesportshub.com. So you guys should check that out, Alex Barth's podcast over on 98.5. Also, all of his written material there is he's covering training camp for 98.5 The Sports Hub, uh, 98 98.5.com. So definitely check that stuff out. But um, the receiver picture, we were trying to guess day one. I, I think I put Alex on the spot. Tell me the three guys that you think are going to – uh, pop and the reason I mentioned Doug Kite is he has something on uh, Trey Nixon, who I know is kind of a dark horse candidate, and people have their eye on. But first, I want to focus on the uh, the 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 three receivers here and who we yep. think they would go there. And you have you know the incumbents in Aguilar and Jacoby Myers and uh, and of course Kendrick Bourne. You're bringing in Devontae, and then you have the rookie in Taekwon, and then who knows Trey Nixon is kind of battling a whole group of people there to possibly make the roster. Um, you were guessing my. Myers was safe, you know, in kind of if they were starting two wide, three wide. You've kind of changed your thinking a little bit after three days. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, if if and it's it, there's a lot of time for things to change, but the early odd man out, and that's a term we're going to use a lot over the next month, month and a half when talking about the receivers. The odd man out early is Jacoby Myers. I mean, I don't know if him or Mac made the blunder today. Mac's first interception of camp, uh, seven on sevens. It, it was a simple, short concept in. I think what Mac was expecting Jacoby Myers to do, this was out of the slot. I think he was expecting him to run out, you know, diagonally five yards and just sit down on that route, right? Turn around and get the ball. And it's an anticipation route. Jacoby instead gets it off his route, breaks toward the sideline. Mac hits Jalen Mills right in the number. I mean, it was so right to him that even though he's wearing those boxing training pads, he still caught the ball and made the interception. Um, yeah. You know, it's not, again, we don't know. We don't know what the call was. We you don't know. Don't who, know. Who, but well, I was watching Mac and immediately he threw his arms up like, what are we doing here? So whether well, or not it was supposed to be that way, he was certain Myers was supposed to be somewhere so, else. Right. We don't know who screwed up, but somebody screwed up. But the point is, it's like you got Ken, um, you got Devontae Parker, who's making the catch of the day, you know, pretty much every day through three days. You've got Kendrick Bourne, who clearly has some extra level of chemistry with Mac Jones. He's looked good. I think Nelson Aguilar's had an under the radar strong start to camp. I think if. Parker's not doing what he's doing. We're talking a lot more about what Nelson Aguilar has done. And then you have Jacoby Myers, and this was really the first time he's popped one way or the other was this interception today. And, you know, for a guy in a contract year, the other three guys are all signed. It's kind of interesting that he's sort of falling back. And then Trey Nixon, you know, talking to Doug, all the work he's put on the, put in this off season, the way he's positioned himself, he's now getting more involved in special teams. He was uh, helping on kickoff return yesterday. He was returning punts today, one of the two main punt returners, along with Marcus Jones. Jacoby's a slot guy. There's not a ton of versatility there. He's going to play in the slot. Trey Nixon's a slot guy as well, almost a pure slot guy. So it's, I'm not saying that Trey Nixon has supplanted Jacoby Myers, the Patriots slot receiver, through three days. But there is a little pressure now on Jacoby, and he hasn't necessarily hit the level that those other three guys have hit through three days again you're talking floor versus ceiling and jacoby's been right. a you know a very high floor guy uh and and a very dependable receiver when uh you know other people who the patriots might have been expecting more from faltered over the past couple of years whether it be Aguilar or Nikhil harry or whomever what have you so meyer stepped up great I think everybody, I think everyone loves the Jacoby Myers story. I think yeah. uh, he's certainly been dependable. But again, you're really looking at ceiling versus floor. And a guy like Nixon, um, and again, I know you mentioned you spoke to Kide about, um, you know, it's the speed. The speed is what's enticing there. And this is a guy who, um, you know, according to Doug in his article here, spent the entire offseason working out with Gabriel, now Gabe Davis, uh, with the Buffalo Bills, um, who's expected to have a monster breakout season, uh, you know, uh, there on that, you know, super dynamic offense as the number two behind Stephon Diggs. Um, but, you know, just a lot of things about working out, studying Edelman, studying those guys and working that. And that's something that, like, you know, the Patriots – lack you can actually really see it in these red zone drills you you have two tight ends who are not 
traditional red zone type of go up and get it tight ends. You talk about why they struggle. You haven't really had a receiver who's been able to do, um, you know, things in the red zone. Uh, you're seeing more of it from Parker. And you haven't really had that guy who runs those awesome Edelman Amendola pivot routes right. to be able to get open right there at the goal line. And Nixon seems to have the physical and Jacoby's not that guy. He's just not quick enough. Um, uh, he's a solid possession receiver. He's not a yak guy. And again, if you're talking about a team that doesn't push the ball downfield that much, you got to get it in people's hands and have them do stuff. So again, a person like Nixon with his profile, if he were able to put it together, would be someone that would make sense here. Can he, I don't know, but I think, you know, nothing personal against Jacoby, but I think everyone based off of what Nixon can do with his, with, with his speed, um, they'd like to see him emerge. Yeah. And I think it's something that, you know, going back to Mac at Alabama and people who watch the show have heard me pound the table for this for months. Now the speed slot, right? A guy who can run some of those Edelman routes, like you talked about. And in talking to Doug, he said, watching Trey Nixon, he seems like the smoothest route runner on the team, but can also give you some slot fades, some slot goes, some slot posts. We saw him make an incredible catch back in the spring in minicamp. 35, 40 yards down the field on a slot post beating, jo I, I think it was Jonathan Jones. I, th there's, I, they can just do some different things, right? Again, like you said with Jacoby, he's going to go out seven yards, find the hole in the zone, sit and down fall and make down. a catch. Yeah. And that's, look, right. there's a ton of value in having that guy in the right offense. When you had Tom Brady, there was a ton of value in that guy. The way this offense is structured, especially if they're going to do more of the Shanahan stuff, you need a guy who's going to give you something a little bit, you know, a little bit more after the catch and that's Nixon. Again, I wouldn't say he supplanted Myers yet. Myers is still a very good receiver. He's a, yeah. I think 800 yard, 900 yard receiver last year. And there's still certainly a role for him on this team, but it's just, again, we, we, the odd man out, right? They have four wide receivers or, or five receiver locks. Really only three can, can play a lot. Really only two can be starters. Uh, two or three can be starters. So, there's going to be one or two guys who are the odd man out. And right now it just feels like Jacoby Myers is a step behind Devontae Parker, Kendrick Bourne and Nelson Aguilar. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't doubt that. Uh, and you, as you said, Aguilar has been a little sneaky. You're not seeing a ton because everybody's talking about the new guy, you know, Parker's kind of stolen right. all the headlines.